So if you've been following along with the lessons and actually building up to this one, you have noticed this issue where when you input on a text, the some of the components are actually hidden behind the keyboard, and that's no good. Uh, we want to actually bump up at least the primary content, so in this case, uh, the things we're going to want to actually bring above the keyboard are this these two inputs, which are the, the primary things that you want to look at when you're actually typing things in. To do that for our application is going to be super, super simple. Uh, we'll just go to our home.js file, and React Native now has this component called keyboard avoiding view, and we can go ahead and wrap uh, our, basically all of the content that we care about is avoided by the keyboard with this keyboard avoiding view. And for us, that's going to be everything that isn't the header. So we're going to say, we'll wrap keyboard avoiding view uh, around the logo, the input with buttons, last converted, and finally that clear button text, and we can add this. And there's a few different ways you can actually avoid the keyboard using this keyboard avoiding view. And we can actually determine what that behavior is, so how it actually uh, goes through and avoids the keyboard by specifying it in the height. First off is by saying height. And if I save this and open the keyboard, you can see that it doesn't really work the way we would expect it to. Um, I don't know why it does this, but this is what's happening on iOS. So that one's not going to work. Another option we have is position. So if I test that out, we can see that, all right, everything looks good there. This one actually looks really good in general. Um, let's test it out on Android. Open it up. And this isn't quite right. It's hiding things behind our nav bar. So that one's not going to quite work, at least in this out of the box. So let's check out the final one. And the final behavior is actually going to be padding. Uh, checking that out. If we look here, all right, it looks good on iOS, which is perfect. Then if I go to Android, and actually make sure this one refreshes, so I'll reload that, and then I click this. Uh, this one actually works way better for us on Android. So if you want to avoid the keyboard in a super simple way, we can just use this keyboard avoiding view. You've got three different options you can actually try for the behavior, and in this one, uh, the padding is going to work the best for us.